In a previous comparison video, we had a look at the differences between a Chihuahuensis and a Colorata. With that out of the way, let's move on to the next comparison, Chihuahuensis versus the Tipi. You're watching Seriscapedia. This is the show where I do my research so you don't have to. If you like what we're doing at Seriscapedia, make sure to like and subscribe. Now, on to the content. Today, we're going to deal with another often confused pair of Echeveras, and that would be the Chihuahuenses and the Tipi. In a previous comparison video with the Chihuahuenses versus Colorata, I have described the Chihuahuenses as having acuminate to mucronate leaves. But after doing additional reading on the Chihuahuenses, I stumbled upon this description by Myron Kimnak, and it describes the Chihuahuenses as having cuspidate to mucronate leaves. Cuspidate means that the leaf ends in a cusp, and in the context of leaf shape, a cusp is defined as an apex or a point where it looks more like a claw or a horn, which means that there's this protrusion or projection coming out at the end. So if you would imagine on acuminate leaves, there's a bit of protrusion, but on cuspidate leaves, the protrusion would be even more pronounced, even longer, like a talon. This is much longer than the tip that you would see on acuminate or mucronate leaves. And with that said, I think cuspidate more correctly describes the leaf shape of the Chihuahuaensis specimens that we see these days. Here's another good look at the Chihuahuaensis. Now let's move on to the Echeveria tipi. It has been claimed to be a Derenbergii crossed with an Agavoides, but the folks over at the ICN is very doubtful about it. ICN stands for the International Crasuda Sea Network, and their website is a database of all of the genera under the family of Crasula Sea. They are pretty much the authority on all things Crasula Sea. Now about the parentage, while the Derenbergii crossed with Agavoides part is doubtful, I still think that there might be a connection to a Derenbergii somewhere because the flowers look similar. The flowers of the Derenbergii and the tipi look almost exactly the same except that the tipi's petals are recurving outwards more. So if not for the fact that there's a recurve right there, I might have thought that it would be a Derenbergii. So what I'm basically saying is that I think there's a Derenbergii influence in there. I'm just not sure what the other parent is. Right off the bat, if you look at them side by side, the Chihuahuaenses and the Tipi, you'll definitely see a difference in how they look. The Chihuahuaenses looks to have wider leaves compared to the Tipi, and if you have a better look at our flowers, they do not look exactly the same. Even the way the flower stalk branches out, entirely different. You could also compare the shape of the flower buds, the number of flowers, the size of the leaves on the flower stalks, the size of the flowers themselves, and even the shape of the petals. If you were looking at these two plants in person, you would definitely say that they're different plants. And if you agree with me that they look different, then you must be wondering, how did the confusion arise? There's no way people would mistake these two plants as the same thing, because they obviously look different. The answer? Mislabeling. Now this is where it gets complicated. There is a hybrid between the Colorata and the Chihuahuaensis which looks exactly the same as a Chihuahuaensis. In Europe, this hybrid is distributed under the name Tipi. This hybrid is known by many names. In Korea, it is distributed as Chihuahua Linsa, which of course, according to the code, this is not a valid name because you should not use the species name in the hybrid name. And according to some friends in the Philippines, apparently this hybrid, this Chihuahuaensis hybrid, is also appearing in the Philippines under the name Tipi. And according to the ICN, this has been since renamed as Beatrice. I've also seen this recently coming out as Momotaro. There are even a few names, but I can't remember them off the top of my head. They are basically referring to the same plant. It is the Chihuahuaensis and Colorata hybrid, and it looks exactly like Chihuahuaensis. And to directly quote ICN on this, without flowers, this hybrid is indistinguishable from Echeveria chihuahuaensis. And also, the flowers are only di little different from those of the species. It should better not have been created. It is only confusing. Savage. So if you have a tipi or a momotaro or a chihuahua linsa and it looks exactly like a chihuahuaensis, better rename that thing and write down Beatrice. Or better yet, just skip Chihuahuaensis. 
they're essentially the same thing anyway. And that concludes this episode. This is Seriscopedia, where I'm doing my research, so you don't have to. My work here is done.